Hi everyone, so um, here is the exercise video I told you I would do separately and um, I, yeah, so this is it. Um, today is Sunday, the something, I can't remember what the date is today. Anyway, it's Sunday and um, since Tuesday I have been doing this. Um, Jillian Michaels ripped in 30. Um, I'm only on day 6. I've done 5 days of the workouts. I've got to do my 6th day tomorrow. And then I'm on to week 2 on Tuesday. Um, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Like it's hard but I'm enjoying it. Um, and I have been doing a little video every morning after I've um, worked out. So um, I'll show you guys that now. Just finished my first day. Just finished my first workout ever of Ripped in 30 by Jelly Michaels. I, it was so hard. I had to um, stop part way through little bits and like try and catch my breath and. I felt like I was going to be sick, I thought I was going to pass out. Um, I have to say once I got to the end and we were doing the warm up, I just wanted to cry. I honestly felt like just crying. Like, I never ever feel like crying after doing some kind of workout. I don't know what it is, even just doing a workout video with her, she can make you cry. But yeah, that's day one. Literally just finished day two, and um, I did so much better today, and I um. I, I mean, I really didn't want to get up this morning, like, and do it, you know. I woke up before my alarm, like, five minutes before my alarm, and I was just like, oh, I just want to go back to sleep. I ended up getting up a couple of minutes um, after my alarm would have gone off. But I got up. I thought, no, I need to get up. And, you know, I'm so glad I got up, and I did it. It's a big accomplishment for me, knowing, especially because yesterday morning was so hard. Um, but I felt better this morning. I had a bit of orange before I started. Um, so I didn't feel lightheaded at all. I just felt puffed out, um, which was so much better than feeling like you're going to pass out. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad I did it. I'm really, I don't know what it is, but afterwards, I just feel like crying, I feel like, you know, like, oh my god, I did it, like, I don't know what it is, like, <sighs> yeah, but, and I mean, like, last night, I really started to feel the effects of the workout yesterday morning, like, my legs were sore, my butt was sore, my shoulders were sore, and um, this morning I was still really sore, but I did half an hour of yoga before I started my workout. And by the time I started my workout, the workout, um, I'd stretched everything out and everything was warmed up, so it didn't hurt. So I think it's a good thing that I'm doing the yoga in the morning beforehand um, to stretch myself out and get a bit of sort of extra strength training in. Um, I think it will make a lot of difference in the long. Um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I just finished day three workout of week one of Ripped in 30. Um, um, definitely am able to get through it better even after, you know, even on day three, like a vast improvement from day one where I thought I was going to die. And um, definitely an improvement from yesterday. I didn't 
um, yesterday I stopped um, a few times for, you know, um, probably maybe 15, 20 seconds to catch my breath and get my breathing back in control. And today I think I did that twice. So, um, I definitely have to make sure I'm in control of my breathing and that's all I think about is in and out, in and out. And um, that makes it a lot easier to get through. Um, I'm really enjoying it because it's making me sweat. Like, I think I might have been 12 minutes in and I start, I felt this big sweat run down my face. So it's good that it's um, doing that for me. And I um, was definitely sore all day yesterday. Um, it was kind of hard to walk. Um, so um, hopefully today um, my body's a bit more used to it. Um, once again I did yoga before I did my workout this morning to sort of get my muscles warmed up. Um, and during the workout, you know, my muscles were uncomfortable. Um, but I think they, they were working. Like, I could, you know, I could tell that they were working. So, um, so far so good. Um, yeah, I, I'm, dare I say I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the feeling I get from it, even though while, um, I have to say cardio is the hardest for me, I don't like the cardio at all, that's what I struggle with, um, the strength training and the abs, um, I can get through really quite good, so, just see how, so I'm halfway through the first week, um, got three more days to do, tomorrow, bye. Hi everyone, um, today is Friday and I just finished day four, yeah day four um, of my ripped in 30 week one workout, um, still making me sweat so I'm really happy about that, definitely noticing a difference from day one by far, um, it's taking me like less time to recover afterwards and I didn't have to stop today um, so I'm really proud of myself for that so definitely noticing a big difference in fitness and everything and um, hopefully um, once I get up to week two my body will get another like it'll have to work even harder so no I'm really really pleased with it so far so um yeah, yay! Hi everybody, so um, it's Saturday and it's day 5 and I'm about 15-20 minutes post-workout um, and when I say post-workout I mean um, I this morning I did um, my 18 minutes of yoga and then I did my Julia Michaels workout and then I did another 18 minutes of yoga so I'm like 15, 20 minutes past finishing my last yoga workout thingy. Um, I just say this morning um, I was really tempted not to get out of bed, but um, I did, and I'm really glad I did. Um, I've just got to keep pushing myself and pushing myself, and um, it went really well this morning. Um, definitely a vast improvement from day one and day two um so yeah I I guess I'm it's funny I'm not dreading getting up in the morning or anything anymore like to work out so um I think that's really good so day five tomorrow is my rest day and then Monday will be my so um as you can see, I've gotten better and better and better. Um, and it's definitely gotten easier to do. Um, it still was, it's still like hard, but um, my body's not like I'm going to just die right now. So um, I'm definitely seeing improvements. Um, I don't know what week two is going to bring. I don't know whether. Um, 
whether my body will just go into whether my body will be um, prepared for it or whether it'll just be like the beginning of week one all over again um, I don't know but either way it'll be good for my body to have a challenge um, so yeah I do that every morning and um, before I do that I do yoga um, about <coughs> it's only about 20 minutes of yoga in the morning just to stretch my muscles and yeah to stretch my muscles and get myself really like prepared really and then I do my workout and um on on um a Saturday I do yoga again afterwards something just something extra um I uh, my original plan well it's still my plan was um after doing my workout and having breakfast and AJ's had breakfast we would go for a big walk but all this week it has been raining and just so gloomy um which has been really annoying so um when the weather decides to finally be not raining um we'll be doing that as well so slowly building up and um trying to keep real like active um as far as food wise I'm just really trying to really be more conscious about what I'm eating um it hasn't been perfect but it's definitely been a lot better than it has been in the past however I've been using um, myfitnesspal.com to log in what I'm eating and see like how many calories my meals are actually taking up and what I found has been really good is um we do our groceries I do um we do our grocery shopping on a Friday and I plan our meals for the week and we do grocery shopping and get what we need um and what I found has actually been really good is I came home and I then um, put into my fitness pal all the recipes I was doing that week. Um, so then I can, what I do is like on whatever we're having, like say tonight we're having butter chicken. So I'm going to put that in and it'll, it's, I think it's, it's quite a lot of calories this meal. I think it's like 500 calories per serve or something. But then I know that I have only a certain amount of calories that I can eat for breakfast and lunch and a snack if I need to, um, to not go over it. So I think that's, um, that's really working for me. Is I know we're going to have that for dinner, so I put those calories in. So then I can say, okay, I've got X amount of calories to have for breakfast and X amount for lunch. Um, and that way I won't go over my calorie intake. Um, my minimum is 1,200 and my maximum is 1,300. Um, yeah, I don't want to go over 1300, um, because if I do that, then I won't lose weight. <laughs> so, it'll be just like a maintaining sort of thing, but I want to lose weight. So, um, so far my, guess my first week review of the Jillian Michaels Ripped in 30 has been really good. Um, it's, these sort of workouts work for me because I'm not the kind of person that can, um, I'm not the kind of person that can be like, okay, make up a whole lot of exercises and be absolutely sure that they're what I should be doing and I'm doing them right. So I find it a lot um, easier to get up in the morning knowing all I have to do is stand in front of the TV, follow what she says and concentrate on my breathing and do what I need to do. I don't have to think about anything else. Like, I don't have to think about am I doing this right? Am I? Because she's showing me. So those kind of workouts work for me. That's why I enjoy um, the yoga I do in the morning. It's a program. Um, it's key yoga. I do key yoga. And it comes on the television at about half past six in the morning. And I record it. Um, and then yeah, so it's on Monday through Friday, it records every morning, and then I just go and do it. So, 
that sort of thing is easier for me. And then I can, yeah, go for a walk or um, hop on the cross trainer, you know. So it's it's not me having to think about how, like, trying to organise my own, I guess, exercise routine and be not 100% sure that I'm doing it right. And um, my body has handled this really well. Um, my muscles were really sore yesterday. It was yesterday the first day they weren't sore after your workout? Yeah, I didn't have any pain whatsoever. So my muscles are finally used to it. Um, so that was good. Um, yeah, but no injuries, no... Um, the only pain... I guess it's not pain, it's more just uncomfortableness of... It's just muscles being worked. No other, like, I haven't pulled anything or anything. So I know that she's teaching me the right way to do things. And I'm not doing it wrong on my own. And then potentially injuring myself. So, um, I really like it. I'm really looking forward to getting some other ones of her, her other DVDs of hers, um, once I've finished this one. Um, and trying all those different ones out. Because, yeah, I just... I think um, she's a good fit for me, <laughs> even though it's really hard, um, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I guess it's kind of easier to get up in the morning, um, I've been readily getting up out of bed at 6 o'clock in the morning, um, although, was it yesterday? Mm. Yesterday I kind of, I hummed and hard, but then I finally did get up, um, but I only hummed and hard for 10 minutes, and then I was like, no, I will get up and I will do it. So it's not like, it's not dreading like, oh my god, I don't want to get up. It's just getting up and doing it, knowing that, yeah. So, in that way it's easier, it's not like I'm not dreading the following morning to come and having to get up and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, um, it's going really well. Um, I Before I started, on the, on the Monday night, which was day zero, I guess you could say, I started on Tuesday. I did take some body shots of myself. Um, like, and it was disgusting to look at and it was really hard to do, but um, I think I need that kind of motivation to want to see change and want to, yeah, just and be able to share it as well. Um, I weighed myself on Monday um, and I'm not going to say how much I was. It was pretty bad though. And I did all my measurements. Um, I'm not weighing myself again until day 15. And then I'll weigh myself again on day 30. Um, but those are the only times I'm going to be weighing myself. Um, I think I'm the kind of person that if I weigh myself too often, I get really discouraged, especially if it's not what I think it should be or what I want it to be. So I need to give myself a really good chance, you know, a good couple of weeks before I weigh myself. And at that point, I could only expect to have lost maybe. I, yeah, I need to um, just give myself that couple of weeks. Um, measurements I will be doing on day 30 again. I'm not going to be doing them at two weeks. Um, I'll do them at four weeks. And then um, when I'm getting closer to, to the end of this, um, doing this four week, 30 day ripped thing, um, have a look for another, have a look for another DVD um, to do after that and just keep going and just keep going. <clears throat> I'm thinking I might get a few different, um, have like three DVDs of hers and alternate them. So I've done 30 and maybe six week six pack or 30 day shred or something and then just alternate them um something like that <clears throat> um so I won't be buying like a billion different DVDs but I think um definitely do my research into um the ones of hers that are really popular and that people um really like and see if they would fit what I'm after I've watched a lot of um reviews of her DVDs on YouTube um, and so yeah, but yeah, I have not really heard one bad thing yet. Um, and I know not to expect miracles, um, 
but this is a good start and it's a start that I'm happy with and it's a start that I'm comfortable with and it's a start that I am wanting to do like it's not oh do I have to like it's you know we'll get up and do it um, today is my rest day and um, I was able to sleep in this morning um, but I feel kind of I'm worried that tomorrow morning I'm gonna be like I don't want to get up like because that can happen to me like if I work out so many days and then I have a break and then the next day I just don't want to start up again and um, I really don't want to do that and I yeah I just have to have control over my brain and control over what my brain might think um, but yes yeah, so so far so good um, definitely fitness is definitely getting better um, eating's not absolutely perfect but it's getting there um, that's going to be a work in progress as well um, and I think using the MyFitnessPal I've used it before um, but I think using it again now and following the low carb made easy sort of um, guidelines that I should be good so yeah that's that I will um, talk to you guys again next week for week two's I guess roundup um, and yeah thanks bye